Good morning, Boker Tov. How are you? It's Tuesday. You know what that means. It's Torah Tuesday. Yay! I'm glad you joined me. Thank you for coming. Oh, look at all those faces. Hello there. I love when you guys come in. Well, this week, well, I want to tell you a story. I'm into stories lately. Let me tell you a story. Jacob was a good kid. He studied and he made good grades throughout high school. Went off to a fine college and received his degree. He was an active member of the Temple Youth Group. And most people, well, they would tell you how nice a young man he was. Jacob just turned 25 and has joined his father's firm. Makes a great salary and has plenty of friends. Plenty of toys and plenty of time to play. He has been defined by his family and his career. Jacob is set. Where is he? Jacob can be counted on, counted in, and even the IRS is happy with him. So what's the issue? Jacob has been defined by others. Some people, actually most people, scoff at Jacob. They say he's got it made. What's wrong with the boy? Why can't he just appreciate everything he's been given? So, one day Jacob marches into his father's office and explains how he feels to his father. I have to get out. I must find out who I am and what I'm meant to be, he declares boldly. His father looks down at the desk. Not a word. When Jacob's father finally speaks, he doesn't look up. And his voice is very quiet, and there's a slight tremble to it. We've given you everything. Have we ever denied you anything? He asked. No, that's not it, Jacob cries out. It's not you, it's me. I have to know. To Jacob's, to Jacob's surprise, his, fine, his father finally looks up from his desk He's got a big smile on his face. Yes, today you really have grown up. And yes, you become a man. Jacob just stood there in shock. What am um, I, uh, um, what? He mumbled. His father took him by the shoulders and proudly proclaimed, Today you begin the most important adventure in your life. Now go out into the world and find out who you are and what you're meant to be. Well, welcome to the book of Numbers. Bami to bar. Say goodbye to Leviticus. Bye Leviticus. And hello to Numbers. And this week's Parsha, God wants Moses and Aaron to count all the children of Israel. Count each tribe and have them make separate camps. Each tribe is a family unit, and each family needs their own farmers, their own hunters, their own bookkeepers, their own cooks, their own cleaners, their own politicians, etc., etc., etc. Okay. The children of Israel are about to become more than hundreds of thousands of ex-slaves wandering around in the desert. They're becoming a society. A society is being built, and we are encouraged no, well, a society is being built for them, okay? Everybody's going to have a job. Everybody's going to have a place. But no longer are they going to be have manna from heaven and they're going to have the manna during the day and then the light at the beginning and the smoke. At, no, they're, they're breaking it up. They're going into tribes. They're, they're a new society is being born. Now, as far as we're concerned, okay, a society is being built and we're encouraged, no, we're instructed that only we can define who we are and what we're meant to be. No one else can do that for us. So, I hope you enjoyed my little story. I hope you learned something. And again, like always, I love seeing your faces pop up over there. 
and comments and whatever. Okay. Now next week, we'll be celebrating Shavuot. We'll be talking about the holiday of Shavuot, which is next Shabbat. And Shavuot is the giving of the Ten Commandments on Sinai. It's very important. It's a very important holiday. Okay? So, until next week, until next Tuesday, I'll see you here, same time, same place, for Torah Tuesday. Yay! Peace out.